Abba now, man and woman. It's sweet. Woman and woman, man and man, it don't make sense. I don't think the federal government are the right sense is right now. That's a satanic uh, agenda. That's what leads to Sodom and Gomorrah. The Nigerian government's recent signing of the Samoa Agreement to secure a $150 billion loan has sparked controversy with human rights activists and Clary claiming that the agreement includes a clause that will require Nigeria to legalize same-sex practices and allow abortions. Niger Anchor News took to the street to gather opinions from Nigerians on this development. The majority of respondents expressed disapproval, citing their religious beliefs as the reasons. As far as I'm concerned, that's a satanic uh, agenda. Personally, I don't accept it. Nigeria can use what they have and manage their country. If the leaders can tell all the truth and manage our resources very well. So going for loan because of uh, Going for this realism and all this uh, because of loan, it is not acceptable. As far as I am concerned, it's not. About that one, it can't, it can't possible like that now. Say that uh, man, woman, uh, woman, uh, woman, uh, woman and woman, man and man. No, that's not the best thing. I see many things Nigeria is supposed to do. About the economy, very, very poor people that are suffering. No food, costly, minus food, food, items, transport, everything. It is not going smooth like that. I will tell you categorically clear that, look, I mean, uh, the LGBT thing, it's not in our culture. So we don't, uh, personally, I'm not inclined to it. And I don't think uh, it's something that will, you know, give assent to it. <laughs> <laughs> Me as a Christian, yes, sir. I don't go for that idea. Because I used to, it's a kind of a, uh, it's a kind of a society selling Nigeria into a cottage, a court group, Illuminati, or free mercy. So, if a Nigeria can go on such a reason, it's very bad. As a Christian, we cannot, I, I'm not in support of that uh, kind of uh, arrangement. <laughs> very unwise. It's very funny now. No, like, even in the Bible, it's so unreligious. How can a man and a man get married? Come to think of it now. Like, if they are signing that in, or any, whatever they are signing it, I beg is unwise. It's not supposed to be. And they should, anybody that is even bringing that idea, I think the person smoked before the person rose up from the bed and brought that idea. First of all, that kind of law is not part of uh, African culture. So we say total neglect of that. You understand? We say no to it. If I'm talking on behalf of Nigeria, Nigerians, I'm saying no to that kind of law. We don't practice self, uh, same sex in, in Africa. I don't think the federal government are the right sense is right now because the way they are going, huh, we are selling ourselves per person now. How much Nigeria is owing per person is so alarming. If you calculate how much a person is owing in the loan we have acquired yet, for now, before acquiring this one, they want to acquire now. We have sold ourselves to China and other foreign countries. So I don't think uh, this country, uh, this present government, APC government, APC led government, I don't think they have anything good of ours. He said, No, 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 uh, no, I'm a Christian. My faith does not allow that. And in fact, leave faith. Abba now, man and woman. It's sweet. Woman and woman, man and man, it don't make sense. When asked if the federal government should legalize same-sex marriage, most respondents answered in the negative. So you don't want the federal government to legalize such a law? No. It's unwise. Very unwise. So they, they have to be arrested? No, I don't think it's uh, wise to do that because uh, if you look around, we have so many, uh, I mean, we have loads of ethnic groups in this country, right? But the truth about it is, you know, uh, none of this ethnic group, I mean, um, uh, is interested in, you know, same sex thing because it is not part of African culture. And uh, we don't also, you know, uh, consent to a majority of the people in this country are not really too, I mean, uh, interested in that. It's a, a sort of, you know, uh, an abomination. Nigeria should indict a law that anybody if a court for sex and marriage, they can jail you. No, you can't pull like that. 
because some of our women have plenty of you say that they, they, they find man to marry self. They don't have it. Mm. I tell you, many things. You no, know, Nigeria now is about to think over many things to, to us to do. Uh, I don't think there, there is a, any way they can organize it as far as I'm concerned. So the thing is that just allow the, this thing. All this thing, having a man meeting a man and a woman meeting a woman is satanic. It's satanic. Uh, I, don't, I don't welcome that idea. The controversy surrounding the Samoa Agreement has sparked a heated debate on human rights, religion, and cultural values in Nigeria. Stay tuned for further updates as this story unfolds.